Hi, my name is Abhishek Sengupta. For the last 10 years, I've spent a lot of time writing and talking about good food. And that brings me to Jafar Bhai's, the biryani king of Bombay and a restaurant that's rated one of the best places for biryani here in the UAE. Wondering how they make their biryani? Well, we'll tell you all in this video. Hi, morning, Hi. sir. It's Hi. nice and early. Same here. Good Thanks to see for you. having us over. This is the central kitchen where the best biryani of Dubai is made. Let's find out how today. Right, so okay. everything starts here. Yeah. Correct. It starts with the meat and the choice of meat is very important. So Mohin sir, please tell us uh, what happens. How do you procure your meat? See, our meat especially, it comes from uh, Bombay almost uh, every day, five times a week. And uh, the, it's not only about uh, buying a good meat, it's also about uh, how you clean the meat, how you cut the meat. So, you know, you can see the shine on it. So, this is the way you have to clean. And this is the other part. This is the chest. The meat which you saw is already yeah. cut into these pieces. These are the meat pieces which are cut. So, you saw the butchery, the meat comes yeah, here. Yeah, correct. Usually, you lift. So this goes potato as well. And you see a nice spread of potatoes and meat. So this is the second stage. So the master is in action. is uh, using the spice that is ground at his own lab, you can say. And he's mixing it up in his own style that he's acquired over the years, decades, from his own father. This is red chilli powder, which is the house mix. Okay. So we have many different types of chilies mixed to get all together. Right. This is tomato paste. Little bit of lime juice. Pineapple, no? This is dried, uh, this is apricot. This is a mix of saffron that goes into uh, the mix, as you can already see. Um, spices, meat. This is the story of Jafar Bhai's biryani. This is how they do it. First time on camera, the story behind one of the best biryani you can have in Dubai. We usually do not overpower anything like extra mm. haldi and all that. That's the chicken biryani. Chicken biryani, yes. Chicken biryani, usually, you know, we put extra Kashmiri mirch. Right. Because the meat is white. And in that, the meat is anyways is red. Yeah. So there we use little less, yeah. plate-wise. See, in chicken biryani, because there is no fat, right? Yeah. So we have to put little more ghee than the mutton. So that's a dash of cumin, extra garnish. Yeah. And that's like a final topping before you put in the rice, I'm assuming. Correct. This is again Kashmiri mirch. Okay. Because, you know, when you put the rice, so you get the color to the rice. This is again fried onion. Oh, wow. This is mint leaves. This biryani which I made, yeah. usually I only enter the kitchen when my chef is on leave. Or on a special occasion like exactly. today.
This is the spices, whole spices which we put. Final touches, fixing the dough. This is what makes it a dumb biryani. So the smoke that builds inside makes the biryani. What you saw was the meat, the biryani, the making of the biryani and all that. Now. Besides this, the very important aspect is the spices. So, here's the dry stove I'm taking you in. I hope you don't tell it to anyone. This is a secret. For the first time on camera, we are getting access to the insides of Jafar Bhai's kitchen. And the best thing about this place is, it's cold. You can feel the cool breeze of the AC and you can get the whiff of the spices. You can see the check the cashew nut as well. This is actually the cashew nut which you eat at home. And when you try the cashew nut, it should be little sweeter. It is. So that's how you come to know the quality. This is actually which you munch at home. Mm. And we grind this for our gravy. And this is unsalted, not roasted, not fried. This is Plain. raw, sweet cashew. Here is the entire stuff you've got the sauces i can see a sriracha sauce and i can tell you why that's there because they do a lot of chinese items as well these are all preserved well just to keep the freshness yeah this is a uh, red chili powder which i was talking about you can grind it a bit so that shows it's so fine and light and you know one good thing about the there's no color And so here we are finally at the kitchen here in Karama, ready with the biryani to be served. Yeah, Let's so see this is what, what we made ready. And the steam's coming out. Wow, the aroma. So this is a layered biryani, you know the raw meat is below. So very important how you remove the biryani is also an art because it should not be like a pulao. And uh, just a reminder that yeah. this has been cooked for three hours. Yes. So, and you can get that with the aroma. It's mutton biryani. So this is the way we should be. Some rice has to be mixed with this normal rice for the flavor you. Yes. See? Wow, that's the masala. I think this needs a lot closer look the meat looks very tender that's the meat it is very hot but i can tell you it's very tender i'm scared to put it in my mouth but i'll try wow that's your first platter of biryani this Ready is for you guys for you to try because Ready all your hard work has gone in since morning और इसको दबाते इसलिए के टेबल ठंडा नहीं हो टेबल पे पहुंचे तक गरम रहे आई थिंक द बेस्ट वे टू डू इट इज प्रोबली हैव द फर्स्ट निबल यूजिंग योर ओन हैंड जस्ट टू सी हाउ इट इज आई एम गोइंग टू हैव अ फर्स्ट टेस्ट have it with the masala this is incredible yeah this is ye alu acha hai chatpata hai matlab biryani achhi hai and look at the texture this shows how it's absorbed the spice it's and not see this yeah the redness here yeah the mutton is so soft it it's melt in your mouth look at the the, the way the spice has gone in it's not overpowering at all and you do not feel guilty at the end of the day all we have seen 
what's gone behind it you've seen how much of ghee that's gone in it's all mixed so so amazingly well that you end up only and only enjoying this experience look at the rice we don't even talk about the rice see all Oil. the rice is same size and it's not the uh, long grain yes fine just see rice. and this is especially the, the masala potato. rice and and all these spices have been mixed in how we saw it today first hand and that's the meat that's chicken and that's mutton which have which have completely eaten this is the final product after it was cooked for 3 and a half hours came all the way to this restaurant it's a 5 hour journey it's magic have to have it to believe it there's no other way the reason i'm saying this is i was involved i saw it first hand how the entire gamut of the best meat rice spices got together and that's the magic that's unfolding right here